What's up, Goon Squad? It's your boy Jody Magic Fest Keith back again with another user submitted deck list. We just recently opened up the deck list queue to where you can submit your deck and you can do it with a donation and you can do it without a donation. And if you do it without a donation, it'll just tick up every day. You'll get one doubloon and I'm going to pull them off the top of the list. If you want to jump up the list, you can just throw a couple duckies at it and uh, bump yourself up the list. And all these videos are going to be made live on the stream so make sure you follow the stream down below if you want to catch it live and then upload it to YouTube. So today we have the Esper KCI Doctor combo deck. Um, it is a combo deck that it that combines Doctor Foundry and Sword of the Meek. Now Doctor Foundry is a two mana artifact, pay one sack an artifact, and you create a 1-1 one -one blue Doctor artifact creature token with flying and you gain a life. Sword of the Meek says if it's in the graveyard, whenever a 1 1 creature comes into play on the battlefield, getting the, 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 the theme here, the uh, sword comes back attached to that 1 1. So when it comes back, you sack the sword and make another 1 1. So it basically converts when you have both these cards, it converts 1 mana into 1 life and a Thopter creation. So your mana gets sunk in and you just make an army of Thopters. But when you combine that with the card Car Clan Ironworks, you can sacrifice an artifact to add two colorless mana. So that means the new Thopter you can turn into two mana, which you can turn into two Thopters, which you can turn into more Thopters and more mana into infinite life and Thopters. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, we have some Mirror Retriever and Scrap Trawler action to uh, you know, make sure that our pieces stay intact. We can buy them back if artifacts go to the graveyard. We have uh, some Nile Spell Bomb for some main uh, deck uh, graveyard hate that also cantrips, cantrip and artifacts to try and get us to our combo that also can have an effect on the game, especially with Dredge being as popular as it is nowadays. We also, speaking of Dredge, have Shriekhorn in our main deck. So we have four Shriekhorns. We can use this to self mill. So we can try and turn one Shriekhorn and then start milling ourselves to the Sword of the Meek, of which we play four, and uh, jam with Thopter Foundry. And then we can sack the Shriekhorn and get the, the sword going with the Thopter. So that's like probably going to be the opening we're going to want to see. And since we're milling ourselves, we might as well throw in Lingering Souls, which is a great card overall. Um. You know, if you want to get grindy, a little alternate plan, buy you some time. Uh, it also adds value to your Shriekhorn. Uh, to tie it all together, we have this War of Invention, which we can use to get any piece that we're missing, uh, either the Foundry or the Sword, or the one of KCI. Because KCI is not good without the Dr. Combo already, we're just playing the one, and we can whir into it. Out the board, we have, we're going heavy on the uh, Unmoored Egos. And the uh, against other combo decks because we're not our our, our combo isn't infinite uh, without the Car Clan Ironworks and it uh, I don't think it's as fast either. So like even a deck like Scape Shift can beat the Thopter Sword combo with enough time because it doesn't pressure or gain enough life fast enough, giving us a race to this war where we can otherwise just unmoored ego and remove the Valakuts from the equation entirely. And other matches as well. We also have Detention Sphere for an overall removal spell. Battle at the Bridge. We need to remove something and also gain life. And then we have Graveyard Hate and Extirpate and Surgical on top of the three spell bombs that are already main. A Padim to protect their artifacts when they're already in play. A one of a Bridge to work for and a Pithy Needle to work for. So this is the deck. We're about to we're about to we're about to see it live. So here we go. Cues. Uh, what we want leagues. Do 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 do. Yeah, you remember when Doctor Foundry was banned, or the the Sword of the Meek was banned side of the combo, and now it's like unplayable. Well, we're about to see how playable it is, but it's funny that it's just started off on the ban list for Modern at the very beginnings of this format, and other cards weren't. 
<laughs> egregious ones like Ponder and Death Rite Shaman and Preordain and you know some nasty one drops but it was paying for the sins of extended the precursor format to modern uh, in the hands of the Thought of Depths deck and I think that deck was very powerful on one side or the other but having both of them in, in, in the same deck was just too much to deal with because all the removal for a 2020 indestructible wasn't good against a bunch of one ones believe it or not or an artifact and then all the the cards that handled the artifact couldn't couldn't touch the 2020 there's very few cards that overlap between both sides of that deck so here we go we're going to start this thing off we would love to play first we got a mox we got a mistress bobble we got a were with an island that does not look good i think this hand could be a mulligan the bobble doesn't get turned on we'd have to keep the bobble to turn on the mox to make this hand serviceable so i think we'll just give it a mulligan okay in this hand we have a couple fast lands no white mana with the mistress bobble and a scrap trawler i think we're kind of forced to keep this one I don't want to give it any less than that. I'll go ahead and bottom that. And I'll start with a Meshers Bobble and a Water Degree Tapped. And pass the turn. And on the upkeep, I will check out what my opponent's going to draw. Bolt Scourge. Looks like an Affinity deck. Lantern Soul should be good in this match. Also, Doctor Combo traditionally is good. It is to note that the doctors that are made are blue, which it do not block Edge Champion. That's one thing to note. Mm. We got a spiral up now in this deck. Okay. Draw off the bobble. It's an island, and it's a Sword of the Meek. That's good. We'll come with a Dark Slick, put a Sword, a Lingering Souls would be great if we could cast it. Oh, local dope. Sorry to hear that. Oh boy, well this race is going pretty fast here. We got a Volt Scourge coming in. It looks like we can get a Scrap Trawler down and block this Memnite next turn. But this is going to be fast. Oh, never mind. We just drew it to Dr. Foundry. So, we got the combo here. So we start getting the chumps in on this Volt Scourge. And... They're going to be lifelinking for 5 every turn, so we're really going to need to find a KCI, probably to bust through the massive life total that our opponent's going to have. It's going to be a lot of clicking, y'all. What up, what up? Can't stay long, but figured I'd drop in. Welcome in, Jackson. Welcome in, baby. I got your deck submission. I have it in the queue. Uh, if y'all are just tuning in, goons, uh, we got the new thing with the queue. Y'all can just submit your deck list, okay? I'm doing it now. We're going to try and get this queue filled up so I can knock it down. There's some deck you want to see play live on stream. Just submit it through there. If you can donate, great. If you can't, thanks for adding to the content. That's pretty much where we're at right now. Let's see. He's going to go for the massive lifelink here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sack this sword. this <clears throat> let me get this blocked in I think we can just block in on this mem Knight and then maybe we could triple block this taking nine here is not the worst I don't think I think we just block there this could fetch a white so we cast souls but casting souls is not as good as just doctor so I think we'll start with the uh, polluted delta. And then I think maybe we'll get in here for two or not. But I think what we will do is go ahead and make one with Thopter here. Let 
We want to get out of like double gal blast range if possible. I'm glad that auto yield is working because it wasn't working on Magic Online for some time. Like whenever it changed zones, it would forget about the auto yield. Come at me, bro. We'll see how this goes. I don't think it's going to work out for our opponent, though. Oh, wow. Will it be on tubes? Yes, no doubt. All these deck lists we're doing, got no music tonight. Look, it's coming up. That's champion, y'all. As champion with the uh, the Dothers, they can't block it. Block here. Block here. Block here. Block here. Put five on it. Get the little scourge off the board. Now we do some attacking team down it's nice we're decreasing the total number of artifacts that they have put in a scrap trawler attack for one Please let me block. Okay. Shrapnel Blast. Okay. Well, that's kind of doing the same amount of damage. Put this artifact back in my hand. That. We'll draw some cards. Hope we can't get enough artifacts to kill us before we produce a blocker. Doesn't look like it's going to work out for us. Did not play the Bling Wall first. Have you heard of Todd? Tell him we are praying for him and wish him well. I will do. P2 to sell. I will do. But I have not heard from him.
We're stuck. <clears throat> We're stuck, y'all. We need to draw land, scrap trawler, any of those things. We're actually going to be able to turn the corner and start racing soon. I think we draw land. We get a redraw out of this Nile spell bomb. Don't go blast me, bro. Here's another bling wall nexus. My circle's not bad. We're gonna be seven power. We're at three. Let's them all in. Doctors again, like I said, this is gonna be a lot of clicking. Uh, there's a lot of information on the internet about Jackson. I'm gonna check it out. Not a lot of information, but basically, he was fired from Star City. He's banned from the, the series for three years due to sexual harassment allegations. Multiple. So that's a, that's the story right now. That's what we got right now. So I guess now we just want to draw another land. As long as it doesn't come with more artifacts or a burn spell, I think we can race this thing. It's also possible that we should have played a Nile spell Spellbomb this turn. Because we're actually just dead. To try and find a where. Yeah, we're actually just dead. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yep. Yeah. That was a mistake, y'all. I should have cracked this spell bomb to try and find a word. Let's see if it would have been on top of our deck. No, but we had a blocker. So we should have popped that spell bomb. Tried to troll out of that thing. Didn't do the math on that. That was pretty bad. Um, Pit the Needle's not bad. Tension Sphere is probably okay. They're going to probably have some artifact removal, but I don't think it's not going to be great. It stops the, the council judgment, I mean, the uh, cranial pleading, but that's it. Battle of the Bridge. I think the spell bomb's not really what we want. Atmosphere is not what we want. I think the bridge might be okay. Get the needles fine. Get a second needle in here. Maybe we don't need this many of that. Something like this. Maybe the bridge is not that good. We'll just get this attention sphere in here. We could also play the Bedeem. But uh, 
they got a three mana artifact that doesn't draw us any cards, so. And it could be that the Battle of the Bridge is just a better removal spell. Because we can gain some life off of it. Yeah, I'll try it like this. Mm. Snaring Bridge. They come with some graveyard hate. Could be tough. Maybe we do want the Tension Spear. On the play, I think I'll put the battle on the draw. Something like this. Stuck with the Pluto Delta, best turn. Like the mirror and on the Ornithopter. Spring Leaf Drum. Just a Vault Scourge. No Mox, no Drum. I don't think we need any old cranial plating here. See if we get us a blue white land. If they go in on the scissors here, then the D sphere will be very good. We could actually needle and then which is, it looks like it's gonna be scissors. It could be no thought cast would be one mana. Alright, granal plating. No mox please. So we don't have either side of this uh, combo. So we're just playing a control and roll for now. I think this deck could benefit from playing Tezzeret as like a uh, a win condition that, that doesn't need the graveyard. Start with that. Retriever. Oh, 
back for three. Play is tapped. Best turn. It's going to be a Ravager or another easy ridden. Oh shit. The worst. So now we need like a KCI so we can trawl back that Pippin Needle, although that wouldn't really help. We just need a Thought Refinery. That's what we really need. Oh no, we just got, we could bury Ruin back to Pippi Needle. But the needle is not really what's getting us now because he got the cranial plate and quit. So it's not really what we need. We need a thought refinery. Uh, or a shriek horn would have been nice. Shriek horn could have been good. So we died to a shrapnel blast here. <laughs> Rip. Died to a gal blast too. No. Yes, we died to a gal blast too. So we need a whir. Are we just dead? Okay. We could have got back the needle to buy another turn. Let's see if that would have helped us. I love rabbit hunting. Nope. Okay. Well, got a couple holes here. We maybe could have. <clears throat> I don't know. We had pith and needle. Pith and needle on that uh, cranial plating. That upgrade was timely. I am having a good day, Mr. Tanner Wald. I hope everybody is having a good day. To all my goons out there, a happy, happy Tuesday to you all. I want to remind everybody that we are doing deckless submissions. You can do it whether you got money or not. If you can afford to donate something that would help with the lead cost, that's cool. It will also bump you up in line. But if you just want to see your deck plate on stream, we'll get it added to the queue. And uh, I'm going to play them in order of who's got the most doubloons. You get a doubloon every day for having your deck in the queue. So get your submissions in early. And then we will also be uploading all of these decks to YouTube. So if you don't miss it live, you can still catch it on YouTube. And if you haven't been following my YouTube, you definitely want to check out the link to the YouTube. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. <coughs> and you might want to keep up in the Discord to keep the conversation going outside of the stream. I announce most everything on the Discord and on my Twitter, so those are the places you're gonna wanna find out. Great spin for a great stream. What's that, Mirrored Battles? What do you mean by great spin? I'm talking about this chair, it goes all the way around, it's crazy, man. Can't really spin it, I don't have enough space to spin it with this green screen behind me, but check it out, dude, it does like a full 360. But I uh, appreciate the compliment. It is a great stream. Oh, yeah, man. Mirrored Battle. Hides your kids, hides your wives. If you got more than one. But tell your friends where to find us, man. We got the free deck list over here, man. And that's going to include the in depth analysis that you see me doing right now. Talking about it. Uh, you know, learning a lot. All right. I love. This is what I love most about the. Uh, the soul stack deck is the Mistress Bobble fetch land interactions. I'm definitely gonna keep this hand. They also power up the whir, which is nice. Yeah, man, it's the people stream, man. So let's do let's do what the people want to do. Okay, it's a Tron deck, huh? Weird. Okay. What are we going to do here? The 
we'll start with a bobble and then we'll bobble ourselves. See if we want to draw this card on top. What is it, Pluto Delta? I don't think we do. Cast another bobble. And we'll pass the turn. With that drawn stack, we will fetch and we'll go get a water grave. Pit the needle's not bad. We can uh, name a Kern dog or an Oblivion Stone. So I think since I think we wanted to take a draw here. The old Mox Opal, huh? Maybe we want to turn this Mox on soon so we can wear. Don't think so. We need to find a combo piece. Darkly Shore is not a combo piece. So let's go ahead and shuffle that away. Go get us a uh, hollow fountain untapped. <clears throat> I don't know why I did it untapped. It was supposed to be tapped. That was a mistake. We're only casting a needle here. Yeah, you fetch you you fetch that map, you match map fetcher, you. Oh yeah. Let's see here. We'll name Kern Dog. We don't want any Kern Doggin going on. And then we'll pass the turn. We'll draw here. I swore we shuffled our deck. I, I don't know why Magic Online does that. It seems like it happens more often than it doesn't. Scry bottom, draw the card again. Is it Worm Coil? Okay. Worm Coil is not the scariest. Perfecta. All right. Well, at least we can wear for three, for two, and we can go get a Doctor Fenry, which is nice. Then we do something with the mana. Let's try and KCI this thing up. If we just wait to wear for two, world breaker, which one world breaker? Hmm. Didn't go after the pithing needle. Let's go get a thopter fanner. Gonna turn our mox on, which is good. Oh, it's a relic, y'all. That's a problem. Kind of. Get my land out of here. Well, we got the place set. So at least we got that going for us. I don't know if we should expose this uh, Karkman Ironworks right now. Or if we should just uh, use the Doctor Foundry to make a 1-1 one -one and then play another Mox. That might be better. If we can get a blocker in there, get another mox out here. The only way we really get punished here is if we draw a were, as it were, because we won't have enough mana to do the thing. Enough blue mana anyway. So can block this worm coil. Oh, 
Logging stone. That's not good. That's not good either. Hmm. Dead. Z E D dead. We're gonna un you're right. You're right in here battles. We're gonna unmoor to ego this fool right here. Get him with that one. We don't have any way to remove land, so I'm not gonna come with the surgical or extirpate. Daniel's fine. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the uh, major's claims on our stuff. So maybe cut a couple spell bombs. Because the graveyard is not really uh, what we need to be attacking. Wet ball, we got wet ball. Why didn't we just get a wet ball on the war? Was the worm coil already in play? Hmm. Maybe that was a poor decision. Was it already in play? I think the worm coil was already in play when we word because we were on the draw. Hmm. Could have tried to keep the mox on so we could get his wet ball on three, but I think Lingering Soul is going to be too slow. And I think maybe we want a couple of detention spheres. To get Oblivion, I oh, know I'm more to you guys great because Oblivion Stone doesn't interact with it. Where's our Shriekhorn at? What we got three, four Shriekhorns yet? Bobbles, Wet Ball, Mirror Retriever, Scrap Trawler. Okay, I can dig all this. What would I detain this for anyway? I don't care. I'm out. I'm out on the D sphere. Relic could be a little annoying, but hmm. Keep this. We need to hit blue mana by turn three. Then we can pull it off. Got to watch out for surgical extraction, though. Yeah, in response to Warbreaker, yeah, it was too late for a wet ball at that point. So we need to catch a blue mana here, so we can wear up the uh, wet ball on them. That's a forest. It gives us another turn. That's a relic. I don't think I'm going to use this tree corn. Now we need a mox. Because if we get this Doppler Foundry down, we can wear up the KCI and go infinite. Shit. 
That was what we needed. Now we get black mana, we get Doctor Foundry. But if we sack the scrap trawler to get back to the atmosphere, it's not gonna work out for us. Leaving up the mana. Huh. The nature's going, I guess. Finery. Then we can do some cool stuff with the scrap trawler. Even with the relic and play. The relic, okay. Can we get a KCI out of this? Yes, we can. So we're pretty much set up as long as they don't have an oblivion stone. That's not Tron. Okay, so now we infinite this turn. But they got an O stone right here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and find a needle with the street corn. Didn't happen. But we get that mox back for free, which is cool. We get back to tree corn, which is cool. Oh, this is way cool. Hold on, y'all. We're about to wear this thing up. Let's go get a uh, hollow found. Right, let's try and do something nifty here. So first things first, so if we were up a KCI, right, that would involve us tapping all of our artifacts, then we could sack the Shriek Horn for mana, and then we could sack the sword to get back the Shriek Horn, then we could Shriek Horn, play the Shriek Horn, and mill the uh, Scrap Trawler. I mean, we can uh, we can we can sack the tree corn and get back the mox, which will get us another mana. This is the spot where you want the Nile spell bomb. Okay, so we shouldn't have boarded out the Nile spell bomb. All right, Jackson, you have a good night, man. You can have fun with that adult stuff you be doing. <laughs> I did a little bit of it today. I partook. Partook for sure. So we're up the KCI, Buried Rune, back the Scrap Trawler. Can we KCI combo from here? I think so. 
because then what we could do is we can buried ruin back the, the scrap trawler get the other scrap trawler in here and then loop with the, the tree corn to self mill let's just try it out and see what happens Sack this. Get back the mox. Put the mox. We see the now spell bomb helps us combo. Play this for blue. And sacrifice to add that. And then what we can do is we can sacrifice back. Get back the scrap trawler. And then we can activate this, pay one, sacrifice this, use this to get back to tree corn. And the sword of the meat comes into play. I think we need the other, and then we can sacrifice the thopter to get the uh, scrap trawler down. Then we can play the shriek corn. Mill ourselves too. Oh, this is fucking way cool, y'all. Sacrifice the shriek corn. Get back the mox ovals. our whole deck here. Cast the Mox Opal. Go to black. Sacrifice this. Cast the Mox Opal. Tap for black. Sacrifice the Mox. We could activate this. Like here, sacrifice that. Get back the now spell bomb. Get back the shriek corn. Oh, this is fucking awesome. We're gonna clock out though. That that's guaranteed. Oh, we sure can, can't we? So we don't even need to do all that. So we can just play the Shriek Horn for one. Mill him out. Good call. We're learning together. This is way cool. Then we can sacrifice this here. Get back with Mox Opal. Get back with Mox Opal. And then we can Pick one here, sacrifice this, get back the shoe corn. We need to auto yield to this. Put the shoe corn. Play spell bomb just gives you some kind of like cozy like or something crazy. And then we sacrifice this. And then we thought the foundry here. Tree corn. Them. And then we thought the foundry. Oh, I fucked that up. And 
tree corn, tree corn them. Let me sacrifice the tree corn here. Let me dot the foundry. Get this black out of here. Scoop. I have to auto yield to that, that trigger. Okay, and play a tree corn. Let's mill him. Click a little faster here. Sorry, guys, I can't keep up with the chat right now. Figure it out. Got the auto yields in. I don't know why he's not scooping. I mean, that's how you want to win. I wish it would auto click this mana right here. It's colorless mana. What a fucking hater. So much for a friendly league, huh? Shit.
is a circle, there's a circle, two circles. Jeez. Yeah, it'd still be a lot of clicks, 50 clicks to kill somebody. I, I was trying to click fast enough. What's up, Arcane? We're doing a uh, user submitted deck list, Esper KCI. Damn, Jody, it's been a rough six months for you, bud. Or four months. Whenever PT25 was forward. I don't know what you mean, uh, Age Rollins. Been rough in what way? Um, gain this much life. Yep, I hate how moto. Yep, yeah, there should be some sort of macro option. My cankles hurt. My cankles hurt. Okay. Yeah, DM me, dog. Keep me up in a loop. What's going on? Okay, so we're still up against Tron here. Now, Spell Bomb can protect us from surgical. And it also can trips. So I think that might be worth playing. Possibly. Plus this out of surgical option. We also need cheaper artifacts to get down early against the uh I like this deck. I like this deck. We need cheap artifacts to get down to where we can get this Mox turn on on turn two. For the Unmortiga. Uh, what else could we play? I don't think we want Surgical or Expert of our own. But we do need to put something else in here. Take something out, really. Gotta watch out for that Shriek Horn. Because we don't want to like lose our combo or something crazy. Maybe we'll slum up a one dollar spell bomb. Yeah, we'll go like this. We got the bobble, we got a sword. We don't have triple blue. We're gonna keep it. Some of the last hand, but we're on the draw. Hopefully there's no Tron incoming. They don't always have it, and we gotta play fast. Tapped. Draw for the bottle, that's a lot of swords. We didn't play a land though. So then we'll look at this. Play Sword of the Meek. Pass the turn. Foundry, or maybe we we'll just play Scrap Trawler. Actually, start attacking with that. Our opponent doesn't have any lands. I would not mind a Nile Spellbomb to counter Surgical at this point since we have multiple combo pieces. Mox Opal's a good draw. 
Now we can uh, maybe warp a now spell bomb. No, we need to warp a KCI, right? This attack for attack here. Come a little aggro on me, you know. Okay. If he has double surgical, he's good. Get this bobble back, that'll be good. I think we just make one guy. If he goes to surgical to sword. Needs two surgicals to make this thing work. He's thinking, so he's at least got one surgical. So kind of that surgical. Doesn't have another one. Okay, I don't think we're going to be looping, we're just going to be attacking. So we start with the street corn. Or can we can we wear up the, uh, I guess we should play this bobble. Start with that. We can't wear yet, so. Oh yeah, power plant on top. We should have left it there. All right, attack. Then we'll sacrifice the uh, tree corn. Get back the mox. Cast this. I will sacrifice the sword of the meek and get back the uh, bobble. So we draw another card and get this back. We'll play the bobble. We'll pass the turn. Spell long as we draw. Six, seven, eight. We got lethal on board. So we're gonna draw. Where's this tower? This is a nice little draw engine too. Let's grab draw. Sick. Sick. Sick, 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 sick.
All right, that was a nice little win against Tron. Tron was a little worried about that match, but it seems that the deck is pretty nice. I think the clock tick takes the sword thought to win this game. Yeah, definitely. Bar week. It was nice getting that combo though. Obviously, him missing land drops helped a lot, a lot, a lot. But they kept the hand with the surgical, thinking it was going to be the shiz, and it was not the shiz. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep this hand. My Slinger Soul kind of sucks, but we got double whir. As long as our mox is okay, we'll be okay. What is this, burn deck? Okay, this is a good draw. So, I think to start we should just play this Warrior Grave. And this Nile Spell Bond. And this Mox. And then pass turn. We play the sword next turn, turn on the opal, and then we're gonna get the top refinery with the whir. What is this? Oh my gosh. All creatures with flying get plus one plus one. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, here's a bobble. That's good. So we can work for two here. No, yeah, we can work for two here. Or we can just Lingering Souls. It's only creatures they control with flying, so. Play a Flyer. The Man Shark is good. Refinery. Turn two Thought Refinery up the Mox. That's nice. I don't think we want that. I think we're going to play this though. And pass turn. Okay. Alright, let's see what they do. Attack for five. I think we want to go ahead and uh, Dr. Fenrir for sure. Can we whir up this KCI next turn is the question. Put it sword back three, four, yeah. So we, we just got him dead this turn. Sick. Is it turn four kill. The mill mine right here. For a clean ironworks. I know we can't do it without a scrap trawler, can we? Can't do it without a scrap trawler. So we're gonna sack here. Guess the bobble's the worst. Infinite, thanks for scooping. You're the best opponent, the best opponent that ever opponent is the best for sure. So we gotta watch out for. Uh, well, he's got flyers. I think the bridge might be good. I think the needle less so. I think battle at the bridge if he's getting aggressive, and I definitely like the tension sphere in case they have stony silence. That's one advantage to playing this deck. Uh, obviously, other KCI decks play nature's claim and whatnot, but. Uh, 
pretty nice. Yes, you can. You can gain infinite life. Damn, I forgot the Dodgers are artifacts. Yep, that's the sick part. Although, I just want to see you play land stacks. Oh, shit. You have a ton of donations to play through. Now I have to think about making a donation. I think the clock dictates us. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's too bad you can't just tell it 5,000 times. Yeah, right, Transfer? It's like, come on. So, I think these are the cards we want cards we don't want it that much is maybe trim up on this link uh no spell bomb i think linger soul is gonna be good if that's what he's playing dampen sphere doesn't look like it's gonna do a thing got a little bit of recursiveness in here it's possible we don't need the battle of the bridge but they do have red mana rider deck seems kind of aggressive but uh maybe the bridge and the d spheres are gonna be enough um i think i'll slim up on one shriek horn Maybe not. Shreveport is nice. Especially with Scratch Roller. Mm. I like keeping the Nile Spell Bomb as a one of draw engine to go with the Scratch Roller. I guess we kind of got the bobble doing that, but it's a little slower. I don't know. They haven't really showed us any reason why we need the Nile Spell Bomb. Got a lot of threes here, though. Got a lot of threes. Keep this hand. We cast the front side of Lingering Souls. We can. We got Mox and Sword, which can turn into a Word at some point. I wanted to keep the spell bomb just to turn on the uh, Mox Opal. But we'll just run out some swords and see what happens. Cool thing is we've got the Tendon Sphere of Estonia if that comes up. This has to fetch black. Huh. Might have a counter spell also. I think we should just like grind them out of here. Let's go ahead and get the water grave. Let's hold it up. That might be big. Oh, it's spell color. Nasty. Maybe we get a word that might be a little better. Play a mantra for me, you homie. Sword. He's got surgical. Now if that gets spell colored. Then maybe we these for the spell colors. He's like double favorable wins. H U. That would kind of suck. Please play Man Trotter. Thank you. Game over, y'all. The car clan ironworks? No. Three, four, f no, wouldn't have enough to do it all. So let's just D sphere.
Surgical one up. Oh, Surgical doesn't even get us because we have two swords. So we didn't really have to the mox there. Mm, Brit Pong. Huh? Smash Rider, so get that again. So the top deck you need, it might not be enough though. All right, so what can we work for here to get rid of a rest in peace? We have nothing. Is there nothing? There's nothing. I think there's nothing. Oh, we can just do some sword dancing. I want to do some sword dancing. Sword over to All right. Well, I'll block the shit out of that. It's like I'm just gonna block a one. Sword coming. Can just work more swords. But no, you can't sack tokens, Clarion. You can't sack the thoughters that it makes. Otherwise, this card would be independently wealthy. Which is not the case. Alright, I think we want to move the sword over to the spirit. And when we get another sword next turn, we can uh, only have to move one sword over and then we start worrying. Uh, awkward. around Crab Trawler wouldn't be that bad either. Oh, I should move this sword over there. Fuck. Alright, we gotta do something here. I think maybe we should go work up a bridge. That'd be a safe thing to do. 
Where are we at? Then just keep three cards for our turn. Maybe mill them out with Shriekborns. <laughs> Play the three corn. Pass turn. Silver spirit, okay. Like a clean attack here. Black man tried to make him sack the spirit. Didn't happen. Let's see what we can get. We get another sword, we get another shriek horn. Get an ensnaring bridge, I think is what we want though. We boarded out the uh, yeah slow mill plan, man. I'm I'm digging it. I mean we're at seven, but then we can we can gain life off the tree corns later on. Put the spell caller down. Keep this just in case it scries. Keep one up. Uh, put the bottle. Sure. If we ever find a detention sphere for that resting piece, we'll just go off. Hopefully, you won't encounter for it. There's three spell players out of the way, so that's good. One man strider. All right. Good thing we got a bridge. And we can we can do a little soft look on him with this. Uh, check him out. Spell player on top. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this thing. Should have waited till we untapped. That way, if he had a cantrip, we could have done something about it. Tax for you. 
He's at seven. We could conceivably sack our entire board and then attack. Oh my god, is that astounding? Well, I guess we're going to do this first. That was the worst time to draw Stony for us, for sure. I just need to draw seven points of burn. This card is not going to help us. Um, maybe we should keep it in our hand now. Keep that one in our hand too. Man, we didn't even get these sword, the sword or anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and send it in the square trawler. You have to block that, right? Okay. And then we're getting the souls. Cool. Can't move these swords over, so if he double blocks with Man Shredder, it's going to be a problem. Word might be worth something. What can we work for? They're all activated abilities, I think. So maybe we won't want to thin our deck any. Send that in. Did you got lightning helix? Special let them attack. Probably not. Actually, we should not tap bridge in case he has an Ahiri in the deck, which is not likely, but possible. So now the chances of us actually killing him are pretty low. We should have uh, left everything untapped that one turn. Got a little aggressive tapping all our stuff. He's gonna have, he's gonna have to block. If he double blocks here and takes, oh, he's at 13. That's not good. I guess if he double blocks is not bad, but then he's got like a 3-3. Three, three. That would suck. Let's do it. Double blocks the one with the sword. Then we can give it up.
shit. We got one. Gotta block something. What the fuck? Are you playing this? The big beast, yo. It's a big beast right there. Oh, that's a good one. What am I going to get rid of? The 5-5 five five and then crash in? He's going to have to block the 3 2. Could get rid of the Stony. Seems a little better. Get wide around this shit. Stony's going to make it to where we gain some life. I think that sounds pretty good. So if we take this down, we can maybe like, kill him. So now we can sort up our shit, which is pretty cool. Shit. Some big some big beaches over here. Alright, here we go. You ready? Nice. Oh, yeah. PayPal is definitely better because there's no, if you do a direct PayPal, it, there's no fee. If you just PayPal to my email address, point. There's no fee. Do friends and family. That's, that's probably the best way to do it. Sword everything. Blow up bridge. Yep. That was the plan. I was going to blow up the bridge. Pow, pow. Probably wouldn't have blown up the bridge because I... That would have stopped it. It made it to where we could have one sided attacks with one ones. But I probably would have sacked the scrap trawler. Would have been a plan. We got a mox, we got a mouse spell bomb. I think this hand's a keep. We got the combo. We could use a land, that would be good. That would be good, baby. The old island deck, huh? Uh, the stern dog. Don't tell me the stern dog. Next turn we're getting Doctor Foundry. We're gonna name effect. It's gonna be Skull and Tarn. This might be Brawl though. Yeah, the 
It's your boy. Didn't want to draw that. It's worth playing the needle there. Can't open off a spell bomb in the middle of a combo is probably gonna be better. You gonna do it? Uh oh, here it comes, y'all. Might be into the worms. This is a value pass in flames. I don't think we should do this. Because we can retrieve her next turn and then sack it. If we have a land, we can replay the spell bomb. There's moss that works. Spell bomb. Just looping spell bombs over here. Give me a little one one. Thank you, one one. Replay that spell bomb. Best turn. That's pretty cool. Alright, yeah, you know the link point, just uh ship them and uh wow. We won that game. Sick. All right, so maybe we want surgical extirpate. Guess we want egos. Um, maybe we want the detention sphere. Dampen sphere is going to be good. It's going to be even better if we get the deem with it. D sphere is probably not bad. I think lingering soul is too slow, so we can cut that. What else do we want? We want detention sphere. I think we want the surgicals because they're going to go well with the shriek horns. And we want the D sphere. Maybe we can uh, trim up on some of this. This doctor combo. Cut one of these swords. Pit the needle sucks. Get that out of here. Now spell bomb's okay. Maybe we don't need this many D spheres, but I want something for goblins, right? Tight one. This can be a tight one. Definitely with the combo. Scrap trawler is good. We got Doctor Sword for the. Uh, might be strong enough against the go goblins. Maybe we don't need that many uh, tension spheres. But I think we should put a couple in just in case. Now there's no EE, -E, none of that stuff. The Bedeen wet ball is like uh, a go go, or would buy us a lot of time. So we need to cut three more cards. 
So I think that might be a shriek horn. Another scrap trawler. Maybe one thought refinery. Yeah. That way we got a couple of these spheres in there just in case they come with goblins. Cage is legal. Could be a good war target. Um, I did say this at the beginning of the stream. Could be that the cage doesn't work well. Ooh, that's a lot of moxes. Doesn't work well with uh, worrying out a scrap trawler. Not that we've done that yet. Well, yeah, we have done that. I'm holding that in. I'll keep this one. I guess this is better than that way we draw a fetch land. We don't need to card the first turn, so keep that. Who does the serum? Looks like the opponent mulliganed. So I think we can bobble. All the bobbles are going to go his way. Lead on this. Let's see what he kept on top. Steam vents. Okay. Don't brawl me, bro. Alright, there's a brawl. Check him out again. Yeah, more foes, huh? Hmm. Guess we should play this. And then maybe we should, uh, Check ourselves out. Play this, and then we'll fetch up an island. Get this doctor down. Tree corn's gonna go nice with the surgical. Hopefully it makes passing flames fly. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. While we're waiting to find out, y'all, don't forget you can submit your deck list to be played live on the stream. If you enjoyed, if you're watching on YouTube, the links can be down below. Just submit the deck list and we'll get it to the queue if you want to donate something it'll bump you up on the queue so you know it's free submission and every day that you're in the queue you get one doubloon and the most doubloons will be the first deck played also while you submit your deck list there's a free karaoke request with every deck submission so that's pretty good pan redux I'm, I'm about that life Do we surgical here? Uh, can we surgical? Maybe we can circle the metamorphos now. Try 
and stop them like that. This is a grape shot. Looks like we might survive here after all. So you can grape shot us for a good amount. Once. I forgot to take a picture of his deck. I forgot to take a picture of his deck, chat. Shit. Can somebody clip that? Somebody clip his deck. See if we can do it. Spaced out is now hosting me. Thank you for the host, baby. We could have waited on the grave shot. Right? With the, when he cast the passing flames. But he would get another card out of the deal. So I would not mind seeing the old Doppler Sword right here. Or a Nile Spell Bomb. Nile Spell Bomb would be nice. That's not what we wanted. I think we might have Barry Ruin back in Mr. Bob one day here. coming up. What was his last card in hand? I forgot what it was. Right, let's pull this clip here. Alright, let me see if we can full screen. Let's take a look at it. A little blurry. A little blurry. My video quality sucks. Uh, the last card, we don't know. It's a mystery. And what was this? Can you mess on top? So you can pass plan for three and grave shot next turn. With a mystery card. Come on, deck now, spell bomb. Let's go. We can name Passing Flames or we can name Grape Shot. I think we name Passing Flames. Because you can get card advantage off of that. Gifts, that's the card you got in hand. So there's two grave shots left. What else is in the deck? Now we get a look. We got a wipe away, two of braids, grave shots, pieces. So it's just two grave shots. He doesn't have the goblins in the deck. Is there any remands here? One. All right, tight. Then we get to Shriek Hornin. Hopefully we don't die. Grape Shot can kill us. Thanks, chat. Who's who clipped that? Barwick. Thanks, Barwick. Where's Barwick at? Barwick. You just got a sword, buddy. You earn your sword right there, buddy. You're a moderator. Wield it wisely. He only has max one more piff. The grape shot is the problem. No, not really, because with two uh, brawls in play, he can turn that uh, passing plan into like a draw three. Well, he only has one card. You see. So, and then like any gifts I'm given would be scary too. Now, if we would have named the Grave Shot, then yeah, that would have been one thing. But, well, you got one now, Barwick. 
And now, you, look, you, you're also allowed in moderator chat. So there you go. Welcome, Barwick. Nice, there you go. All right, so we gotta try not to get beat down here. Gifts, all right, what's gonna be? Not giving you a grape shot, you better believe that. Well, Radley, we don't, he has two threats in play. So if he draws enough cards, you know, he could tempo us out and kill us with the three, three turn clock he's got right here. You know, with remands or uh, artifact removal. Yeah, no bolts. You know what I'm saying? He could tempo us out. We didn't know that all he had was grape shot in his deck. He could have also had empty the warrants. So I didn't want to mess around with it. Hindsight, baby. It's always 2020. Even if we wear glasses. Even if you ain't got your glasses on, hindsight is 2020. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I think at this point, um, we need to stabilize this board. We need to get a uh, Shriek Warrant Doctor Foundry. Maybe we can get a couple a double block on this Electromancer. We'll see what this gift yields. And then we can work on getting this Grape Shot out of his deck. I just didn't know, man. Two cards into the graveyard. Is that a Noxious Revival? And a Braid in pieces? Well, you can't have Grape Shot, and you can't have Nostra Revival, so it's out of the question. He's got a Braid, and now whatever he gets off of this. Sleight of Hand, Ritual, what do you get? Ritual and Sleight of Hand, okay. But like a scrap trawler would be a good draw. getting abraded. Could buy some time. Oh. <laughs> some idiot Barwick, that's why. <laughs> Did you need a good reason? <laughs> that was so bad. I'm not used to playing Shree Corn out of context. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna mill that grape shot and he's never gonna grape shot me again. But I needed the sword to try and, uh, I guess we just wait a turn. Possibly get another Electromancer, that would suck.
Don't remand me, bro. Can't play this crab trawler because he'll just kill us. Gotta pass the turn. Other kind of sick, yo. Scrap is going to be nice. Oh shit, that went through. Had it all. Had it all, had it all. Okay, so didn't see empty the warren, so I'm less inclined to want the D sphere. We can maybe play the battle of the bridge for the the, the creatures. Seems to make a little bit more sense. Maybe we need to go full on this combo. Hmm. I mean, although it's possible that he would board in them to the Warrens once he saw the unmoored ego, right? That would make sense. That makes sense to y'all. Makes sense to me. Keep these these spheres here. Although he has bounce spells and he has the braids and shit, so like, is these sphere even gonna get tokens? I'm on the play, I'm I'm keeping this. So these triple mox hands, man. Can't keep those. Double mox. I think we keep this with the scry. It's got wet ball. that on the bottom even though it's in cami runes it's not the best that's not what we needed but it's something hmm Land! Come on, deck. Didn't give me a land deck. You suck, deck. You know that? Do we wet ball right here? I think we do. Soften me up with the B-roll. Okay. The cool thing is about the Academy Rune, so if we tree corner into some sweet artifacts, we can get them back. Okay. Mm. 
it's both gonna cost one more. Hopefully it's not in a braid, because you can pay two in a braid and then try and combo off, but we have now spell bomb. Okay, I'm gonna mill ourselves for two here. That's two lands we needed to draw. Perfect. Should spell bomb try and draw land like right here, like the turn before. Six cards. I think. Do we want to draw land here? I mean, we want to draw land here, obviously, but do we want to crack an owl spell bomb to do it? Because then our marks might get turned off at some point. I think we should do this. That wouldn't have been too bad. ball I like how you can soft lock them with the with the bobble and the academy runes it's pretty cool think about this for a second Bunch of rituals and another brawl. Alright, let me do a screen grab of this. Just in case I can't see it later. Put this over here. Okay, so it looks like just the Light Demancer Beatdown is going to be it. So I don't think that's going to be good enough. And maybe what's the next one gonna be? Passing flames, a braid. He drew that spar bluff. Maybe we get a decent little lure off. If we keep a knob spell ball in play, we never have to worry about passing flames really. We can name the Electromancer, and then what's he really going to kill us with? Brawl Swings? I mean... Let's mm, going to mill ourselves here. Okay. Here we can shrink corn here. Oh, I stopped trying to hit this sword. Nope, didn't happen. 
Send a whirl on their turn for a Dothra Foundry. Alright, the 3 2 Dream is alive, y'all. Alive and well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beat the storm. The unmoored ego. Impressive. The three mana uh the three mana cranial. It's funny that that card only it strictly says four copies of the card. Right? Four copies of the card. So what happens if you're up against like a rat colony or a relentless rat deck? <laughs> Doesn't work against that. <laughs> That'd be the meta checker, man. Oh, you got the four on more egos, huh? Mm, laughing at you. <laughs> laughing at you. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. You can get the basics out of their deck. Pretty interesting card. Okay, I think I can keep this because we got Treecorn that's trying to find the uh, the sword. Oh lordy, what is this? Sanctum into a noble. Okay. What if I bobble? I bobble myself. Academy runes. I think I might want that Academy runes. Is that a kind of card I want to draw? Sure. In case we get our Dopper Foundry counter. Plus we got Shriekhorn, so definitely want to draw that. I like these little subtle interactions here. Hmm. Too well, gotta be careful. Is this an attack for one? Come on. What? What? It's gonna be some bad mamma jamming freaking nobles over here all up in our. Wow. I guess, uh. Come with the white mana. No, I'm gonna come with the blue mana, right? I'm gonna play the Doctor Foundry. Trying to shriek on our way to victory here. We don't have any creatures, any artifacts we want on the cabin runes back yet. Three nobles or something though. All right, it hurts. Stop. Stop, it hurts. All right, shriek one it up. Perfect. Scrap draw is all right. Let's see what's going on over here. as a path or a spell queller if you're gonna do that then I think we'd rather him do it to the uh, scrap trawler can we control back a bobble with a block on the noble which is not bad or we can just sack the, the shriek horn to the doctor foundry and then when the trawler dies we can get the shriek horn back Oh boy, here comes the heat, y'all. Here comes the heat. What? That's the cavalry, bro. Ooh, take that land though. Don't mind if I do. If we could ever get a freaking sword in the yard, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing all right. 
Linger Soul is going to be nice. Mm, Wanderer, huh? It's not a great draw. Let's start with Souls. That'll give us the most time. Here we go. Start your engines, everybody. Got there. Got there. Hmm. Maybe we want to draw an artifact. Let's go and do this. Spurt. I don't have to worry about rest in peace though. Messing up our Dobber Sword. I think Bridge will be good. Noble's gonna be tough. Recipes and Stony. I think V Sphere's got to come in here. I think Bridge is probably going to be alright too. And maybe even Battle of the Bridge. Damn it, Sphere's out. Turn my bonus reborn. Trawler's not looking great. Lingering Souls is fine. Give us a little time. Got a spell bomb. Cut a needle. Can needle the wild, but yeah. I don't think that's what this is gonna be about. Gotta try and do it like this. 
Bridge is fine. He's got stoning, it's gonna be tough. Got no way to like make him discard his stuff. We could maybe ego that the Yeah, the exalted trigger still going underneath the bridge, that's true. But it does slow him down considerably. And he needs multiple because if we have like a scrap trawler or Langer Souls tokens, he'll lose his noble. And then that's another reason why we have battled the bridge also. Okay. Cut this. We should keep some of this uh combo in here. Sixty a lot of threes though. I think maybe I mean soul seems good, but I think I'm gonna cut one. Eh no, maybe we could come with a spell bomb. Shit. Spell bomb should have been a four streak mall for sure. Seven, this noble, yep. Stony, also for sure. Controller? No, I don't think so. Just gonna get this down. Tap out, man. That'd be great. No spell pierce, yeah. here I think hope he comes with another lord and tries to aggro us and then we can get a clean sword down no rest in peace no stony please funny part is that mausoleum wanderer could counter the wear Guess we get this stuff on the board. Let's play a tree corn. Sack the mox and play another mox. Hmm. Kind of like 
save that. I'm gonna threaten a double block. Nothing quite like either grid to beat a stemmy silence, you know, and a rest in peace. Bunch of nowhere. That's not good. Cause now I need like way more mana to wear. This is pretty good, actually. Damn, rip. Uh, is it that good, though? Maybe we can bait out the Wanderer on this. And then we get the bridge down. Just pointing at the wanderer. Might have been better. Hmm. Six right here. <clears throat> I think I well, might be able to. I mean, if he has another lord, then I uh, kept this on two for a reason. I won't be able to triple block this noble next turn, though. So I think we gotta risk it. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three, three. Yeah, we gotta triple block the noble next turn, so. Go on. Oh, we just draw that. I mean, if we can handle these nobles, then we can naturally deck them with their shriek horn. So long as they don't have stony. We gotta start milling them, because they're, they're, we're tied on cards right now. We're behind on one card, basically. Because they already drew for this turn, so if we're at a tie, that's, that's just what's gonna happen. Fuck, man.
Defense fear would not be bad, but I'm a little worried about spell caller. Do we have four artifacts of sack here? One, two. Oh, I blocked with the wrong fucking creature. Why didn't I make a thought there after I blocked? God, that was so bad. Oh boy, that was terrible. Oh man, that was so bad. Two, three, one, two, three. No phantasm images for these nobles, dude. That would suck. Also, the tension sphere on noble might just be a lock. Sag the sword, yeah. I guess we could have been equipping the sword. So bad. Play this game so bad. There's three of them. Nope, lose them all. Now we need a tension sphere. And like he's probably got a spell caller here, so let's go buy us a turn. Can't spell for a war. So from this spot, you guys grab trawler. put a sword on this it'll be like monster right but we have to spend all of our mana to equip it
do this. Oh, it doesn't trigger? Fuck, man. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought we were going to get a trigger out of that. I guess not. Just get another scrap drawer. That seems fine. Not gotta worry about decking. But we got noble gone. One noble gone. land. We need more shriek horn. Yeah, rip. Yeah, we grind an arm star. I just got worried about this clock, man. We got nine minutes on the clock here. <sighs> All right, you attack, I block. Yeah, that's how it's gonna go. Let's go. Let's do it. I wouldn't mind a battle with the bridge for this noble, or D sphere for this rest in peace. But I really think he's sitting on a spell pod. Okay. Oh, this one will get a spell pod for sure. Tree corn, bro. Tree corn. Oh boy, I know what that's getting. Get the shriek horn, or I can get the sword. I think I want to get the sword in case we draw a detention sphere. And we go ahead and hook the sword up here. Because now that can trade with a noble. Or block a noble. Not trade with it, but block it. We're fucking grind here. So now we're down a card. So a stoning would be bad for us. So we do need to get a shriek horn. Come 
one deck. What happens if you play the third noble and we got a oh, we get double block with the scrap trawler? Come on, baby. How many spell clothes? None? None so far? Oh, one? I don't want to fetch. I don't want to fetch. I don't really want to fetch. for that. Oh, thank God. That's going to get spell colored, huh? What? When is fresh pass? Come on, bro. Start casting them cocos, man. Fuck. What's good, Kyle V. MTG. Just naturally decking people over here with resting pieces because they don't want any fun. And then they scoop. Ha ha. We did it, boys. Did not live the 3 2 dream. That was awesome. All right. Now I'm going to close out to the people on YouTube and we'll get on to the next deck. And don't forget, if you want to submit your deck and you're watching on YouTube, there is going to be a link down below in the description. If you're watching live right now, just drop it in the chat. Um, you can put your deck in the queue. It, it doesn't cost you anything, but if you do want to help support the content I make, donation is definitely welcome, and they will get you bumped up on the list. But definitely get your deck list put in. We'll add you to the queue. I'm going to knock them out from the, whoever's got the most doubloons. I'm going to do that, uh, try and knock out a few every day. I think it'll be interesting. Everybody will get to see different decks. Like this deck is like hella awesome. What we went 4 1. This deck was sweet. The old tree corn interaction. Let's pull the deck back up right here. Yeah, tree corn yourself to hit the sword of the meek. And then you also have a KCI. Uh, you have the word to go get the KCI and you can loop it with Scrap Trawler to mill your opponent completely out. Um, I have already known about the Car Clan Ironworks combo with Dr. Foundry and Sword of the Meek, but that would still require a combat step to win. But this one's great too. Uh, yeah, the YouTube is right here. So you should follow me here. I already have some uh, list up on the playlist uh, donation deck list. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I announce all my streams. And uh, also follow me on the YouTube. So that is awesome. And so YouTube viewers, um, if you like to comment, like, comment, so subscribe. Hide your kids, hide your wives, but tell your friends where to find us. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. T signing out to YouTube. One love, good vibes. Thank <laughs> you.